hello everyone, and welcome to a very old PlayStation 1 game that is very dear to my heart. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This will be a new series, I mean you guys enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I have this game on my PSP as well, I can just go off and play it there. Yes, yeah, so I, I uh, actually own this game, like I said, for PSP, so I said, well, let's get an emulator, play it. Um, this is actually PS1 emulator, but it works nonetheless. I might have to turn the volume down, see if I can. Okay, hang on one second guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. So I decided to just turn the sound off. Um, I'll be reading out all the stuff, so it should be perfectly fine. Alright. File select. There we go. Yes, it's okay, I know I won't be able to save. I'm going to be, we're going to be using the uh, auto save feature, the uh, quick save feature. So that should be well off for us, anyway. Of course, assuming the game doesn't crash, that would suck. Here we are, journey back to 1792 in the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. PS1 games. <laughs> so some um, pretty well fitting music in the background. I love how the how PS1 was intent on combining 3D stuff with not 3D stuff, because it was still a new technology and it was like, oh yes, it's great. Ian, this this is 3D. This is actually one of the better 3D things I've seen on PS1. Excuse me. Yes. This will probably go up in like 480p. So you'll be able to see whatever, but uh, the graphic standards back there were not too great. If, you, if you're watching this and you don't remember what a PSX or PS1 was, um, this is the graphics for one. <laughs> Although I doubt I have anyone young enough to not remember, not at least have heard of a PlayStation 1. Loading gasoline is going to be the night. Final stage, blood distance. Okay, so we have jump, is this, is that. I don't, I don't know what that was. But it made me powerful, I like it. There we go, get him across. That'll be, which button is that to use across? Oh god, I'm on fire, that's amazing. Okay, I have no idea how to use the cross. R. Okay, guys, one quick second. I have to. Uh... All right, guys, we're back after I totally forgot to uh, that escape closes out of the simulator and uh, had to reload the whole game. Yes, Lord Dracula. Richter, die, monster! You don't belong in this world. This was not my my hand that I am once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. P perhaps this is the same can be said to all of, of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk, have at you. Oh god, boss fight. Boss fight. Ah! I like this better. It does more damage. Suck it! Ah! I love that attack. Oh, I love it so much. Oh god, fireballs. The cool thing about this fight is you don't, you can't, I don't think you can die. <laughs> it's just weird getting used to it, like. Oh yeah, you can leave the slide tackle too. Oh god. 
I'm so screwed. I was terrible at the original Castlevania games. Absolutely terrible. Gosh, you can't, like, whip down. Oh, yeah, you can. Duh. Just... Oh, I'm dead. And Maria comes out. I think it's her name. Pretty sure that's from... No, it's not Maria. What's her name? And she uses the spirits and brings me back to life. Yay! I am whole again. I'm not sure how many times you can do that, though. There we go. Why are you, I look scumbag? Come here. I'm gonna murder you. Feel his true power, oh god. I'm pretty sure I'm invincible right now, so... I feel so much more awesome right now because I can do the slide tackle thing. Oh, suck it, Dracula, you did. Oh, yeah. I am the vampire hunter. And the page burns because Dracula's dead. Once again. But he'll be back a hundred years from now. It was Richard Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter, who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shaft. It's quite the name there. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richard mysteriously vanished. With no idea where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appeal once every century, suddenly materialized out of the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, the very same Alucard who had dreamed of with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tapes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now he is awake and aware of the evil once again in work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons you. And no man can say who, who shall emerge victorious. God, this game is so awesome. This was probably the best Castlevania game, at least of all the ones I've played. Mainly because it wasn't just the... You have like three lives and you have to do the whole game on those. And it was really, otherwise, you, when you die all the way, you start all the way at the beginning again. Castlevania. Scream it up. You actually got like you got to, you level up and you gain you get new weapons and armors and stuff like that and it's <coughs> you get more health, which is the best part about it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird getting used to the controls because X on the keyboard is not X on the controller, <laughs> and so I'm not actually using the controller. I'm using keyboard controls. I wish I could use a controller. It's not registering. You see, here's Alucard. It's awesome dashing. So he gets inside the castle before the drawbridge closes. Opens up. All right, so we have our jump. We have a sword because up. I, I can't actually do the L. Oh, oh yeah, right now I forgot it. You're like crazy over. Oh, you can do back steps though, which is nice. And you have your shield, which I don't think I ever actually used. The whole point of this game, I don't think I ever actually used that shield. Oh no, you're dead. God, these like the monsters in this part of the game are just so so really standard powered, like because you have this you have like all of your full gear just until like you take one damage from everything. It doesn't matter what monster you're fighting, you can be a boss and you take one damage. Oh yeah, I found a hundred dollars. Use that later to buy stuff. Level up. I could probably just sit here and farm levels, but I don't feel like doing that. It'd be kind of boring. Uh, is that a bat? Die bats. Oh no, one damage. What shall I do? Bastards. Die. 
Eric, level up. It's really nice to be able to level up here because you uh you, you end up losing all oh, all well, obviously. <laughs> if I was this overpowered for the entire game, I'd be pretty it'd be pretty not fun. Oh yeah, I'm also right, it's water and I'm dying. Crap, I'm actually dying at this part. That'd be really bad. I forget that you're a vampire and water kills you. No, oh, I want that. Give it to me. That's more health. More total health. Facts. So what is it? Dead. It's cool because there's different kinds of weapons too you can get. I found that these long swords basically do the best because it's like a decent amount of range, they do a lot of damage. Here we go. There is a way, it's supposed to be a way you can cheat this to where you'll have all of his really good stuff at the beginning of the game. Death. Ah, Alucard, what is your business here? I've come to, uh, I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals? I'll not ask you to return not to our side. But I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. Yeah, you steal all my stuff, you prick. I have fists now. I need I need a sword really badly. Do I have a weapon? I have ab literally absolutely nothing. I don't have anything good. I'm so screwed. Watch as I missed it, actually. Ah! You can get that at this point in the game. It's just really hard. It's easier when you have bat form, like, way later on. Not even gonna deny it. I've already beaten this game. At least the first half, the first official ending of the game, because there's two. Fi there's technically two final bosses. And you fight one about halfway through. Oh god. Okay, I gotta use this. Oh, there's a sword. There we go. That's what I wanted. Use that potion because I obviously need it. Ooh, is that any good? I can never remember if some of these weapons are any good at all. This is a two-ended sword. Actually, it's actually worse than what I have. Wow, that's kind of sad. I have the sword in the wrong in the wrong hand. I had no idea. Yep, I do. I want that on this hand. Oh, come on! Now you're just trolling me. Uh, and you lose all your stuff. Oh, here's an actual save room. It's not really going to help us. Memory card, not found, I know. So we're going to go ahead and save a save state. It's going to be save state 1. That wasn't save state 1. Save state 4, there we go. Quick save, save state 4. <laughs> I should have changed the button I used for recording so I could use the save states. Oh, what's this? Cube of Zo. What does that do? Ooh, it's an item there. Okay, let's see what the heck that does. Relics. Causes items to materialize. I like that. That is now my favorite thing of all time. Can I go through your door? I can go through your door. Thank you. Do, 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 do. It says CD and has a CD in the little thing. Alchemy Laboratory. Okay, here's the first real level of the game. with skeletons everywhere. They drop money.
This guy's so annoying. I need to equip that high curious though. A queerist or there we go. So we have some armor now. These guys are annoying because they keep getting back up even after they're dead. Like we'll go down here a second. They do a lot of damage too. It's really annoying. Like if you leave the area, like they'll come back. And hearts don't actually heal you in this. They're uh, they're used for different spells and things. So die. Thank you. You can die, Sue. There we go. She lowers them for now. Leather shield. I love finding all of this stuff. This can go in this hand. Can now block attacks. The cool thing is the shield doesn't actually slow you down at all, which is kind of convenient. Oh god, not these guys, not these guys. There we go. You don't, you don't hit hard enough at this point in the game. Oh, forgot to eat. Oh, dang it. It's really annoying. You gotta get these guys on the button. Back here, damn, I just came from here. It's this way. So in the save room. Not really going to help us that much. Turn around. No. Dang it. Okay, if you get it back up. Blah. Now. Totally didn't help me. <sighs> Dang it, we gotta, gotta watch this. It's gonna go up. There's a way to do it, I just cannot remember for the life of me how to do it. I had to go fast enough to get up there. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Jump off that cliff there. Makes perfect sense. Anything new? That'd be nice. Yay, one dollar. Let's go this way. That's your way up there, if you can see it, like up there. You need that form to get that from though. Ooh! God, I totally forgot how to use these. Let's enter. No clue, yep, no clue how to use these. Absolutely no clue. Wonderful! Should be triangle, but it's not. I should probably go back and look up how to do this on Resist Thunder. Hmm, that could be useful later on. But I should look up how, like the actual controls of the game. It drops acid too, which is kind of annoying. He goes up, he hits you for three damage. Now I'm about to die. Not sure how that really helps me all that much. You're really gonna back up all the way. Damn. 
hate these guys. Is there any? They're going to kill me at this rate. Oh god, I'm so gonna die. Oh, it's up and your attack. Okay, cool. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It's another save room. We can use these to heal. Okay, while we're here, save state four. Yes. $50. Some of these like, axes around here somewhere because they do more damage than these knives do. They're up here. Is that axes? That's the axe. Yep. Go down this way. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a boss before I decide the episode should be up. Dang, I need this, the thing that opens magical doors. Okay. That's not going to help me at all. So nice to be at full health again. Actually, this is a boss, so good. Actually, two bosses, and it's really freaking hard. So just normally, I always have a really hard time with these guys. For some reason, I'm not having a hard time with them right now, which is kind of odd. Okay, I killed one of them. Because, nope, he just changed forms. Did they, did they, did they break my shield? No. Yes! Die! You did! Yeah, both of you did! Double level up! Oh yeah! Life max up! Oh yeah! Who's the boss now? Alright, one boss down, guys. I think we will find a safe spot to, to end this up, and uh... Dang it! Dicks! I hope you rot in a hole. Is that like a zombie with a... It is a zombie. But they, like He's got like a combat knife and he hits really hard and... Going to make me cry. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. One lost down. I'm quite excited about that. Uh, let's go in here. Oh boy, save points. This is exactly what I need. Now we're all saved up. And we have our, our quick save saved. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed episode 1 of Castlevania Symphony of the Night as much as I did. And uh, we're continuing this at a later date. Probably do one episode a week as I've already beaten the game and I have other series that need to be recorded. Just like Monster Hunter Frontier and things like that. But yes, once again, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and this is Gravion, signing out.